Here's a quick tip for all you D&D fans out there, especially the DMs who are trying to make maps. Let's say you find a map online and you really like it, but it doesn't have grid lines. And that's really annoying when you're playing. So what you want to do is go to Incarnate, Incarnate, and you want to start a new map. Now you can do this on the free account, which is fantastic. Go into the mask tool and select show grid. Now you have a grid, but you need to go in and find a different texture. Open catalog and select the shadow texture. Then select the rectangle shape and just highlight this entire area and say apply. Now you've got a shadow texture with a grid. Great. Select save and then select export as image. Don't worry about all the HD stuff, just say save image. And then once you have your saved image, put it into Photoshop. Now if you don't have Photoshop, you can use an online Photoshop. Over here we have our online Photoshop from Photopea. You can do it this way or you can do it in Photoshop. I'll show you online version and then I'll show you the Photoshop version. Put a new layer by pasting the map that we built with the grid on top. For this example, I'm just showing you a section of each. Select the layer of the grid. In this case, it's layer two for me. And then select either color dodge or linear dodge. And you'll notice here that color dodge is a lighter color version and a linear dodge will give you like a bit more of a haze. If you don't like that, just change the opacity. You can adjust the opacity so that it becomes less of a grid or more of a grid. If you did color dodge, it would create less. And when you zoom in, it will look nicer. Let's zoom in and have a look. As you can see, this is actually really nice on color dodge. I think if I were to do linear dodge, it would be a bit too hazy. So I'm gonna go with color dodge. And now I have a grid. After that, you just need to save your map. And then when you play, you get to zoom in on your grid. For Photoshop, it's the same thing. I've got layer one and layer two, just like before. I switch it to color dodge. And as you can see, it's quite lovely. Line linear dodge, linear dodge is not too bad as well. So there you go, DMs. That's how you create a grid on your map. So if you want, you can just create any map you want and then just stick this on. I hope that's been helpful for you. Wow, you've made it to the end screen. Not a lot of people make it here. Click on the subscribe button or the like button or the bell button or any of these videos. They're all buttons for you to press. It's really fun. Trust me, press them, press them, press them, press, press all of them.